you here today. You come here to this very special place. I don't know how old this building is, but just think of the countless men and women that have been married here, uh, the prayers of countless generations. You stand in your seat seating now in front of your family and friends. You both come today with a past, with all that you've done right up to this point. But you also come today uh, to begin afresh, a new life and a new future as husband and wife together. Life in this world can be fragile at times, so I ask you to hold on to these precious moments that you both share to sustain you throughout your married life. The road ahead for you both will be full of joy and happiness. You bet. You bet. But there will be, undoubtedly, times that will unsettle you and knock you back. But the difference is that you never have to walk alone anymore. That's the important thing. You never have to walk alone anymore. You have each other. You have wonderful children here today. Cherish the beautiful family that you've created and will go on creating in all its wonderful ways. 
So if you turn to face Sarah, Matthew, that'd be lovely. And that wasn't the ring, was it? <laughs> um, Matthew, so if you repeat these very breathtaking words um, that you're only going to say once, really. And so just uh, repeat after me. I, Matthew, I, Matthew, take you, Sarah, take you, Sarah, to be my wife, to be my wife, to have and to hold, to have and to hold, from this day forward, from this day forward, for better, for worse, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, to love and to cherish, till death us do part, till death us do part. According to God's holy law, according to God's holy law, in the presence of God, in the presence of God, I make this vow. I make this vow. I, Sarah, I, Sarah, take you, Matthew, take you, Matthew, to be my husband, to be my husband, to have and to hold, to have and to hold, from this day forward, from this day forward, for better, for worse, for better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. Till death us do part. According to God's holy law. According to God's holy law. In the presence of God. In the presence of God. I make this vow. I make this vow. And so, in the presence of God and before this congregation. Matthew and Sarah have given their consent and made their marriage vows to each other. They have declared their marriage by the joining of hands, maybe joining of hands at some <laughs> point of the service, and by the giving and the receiving of rings. I therefore proclaim that they are husband and wife together. Those whom God has joined together, let no one put asunder. Matthew, you may kiss your wife. So yeah, I was going to say that they've embraced everything really well. It's been a whirlwind since I came into Sarah's life and kind of stole her away from the family. I'm sure they were glad to get rid at the time, but, <laughs> you know, I'm sure it was a bit of a shock. Um, so yeah, thanks to, to them, and we'll speak later. Thank you to, to my parents for everything that they do for me and always being there, and hats for interrupting. You can't have it. You can have it in a minute. You want to say hello? Um, you want to do that too? Okay. Come on. We have aspiring artists in our midst. I do have to say, Matt, how lucky you are today. You get to leave here with a beautiful, funny, intelligent wife. Sarah, you're pretty lucky too. 
you get to leave here with an awesome dress and a wonderful bouquet of flowers. <laughs> Matt would lend you his last pound if you needed it, and if not, he'd help you to work out how to get it yourself. Whilst he's a funny old bugger at times, I know how much he loves Sarah and the kids, as well as his family and friends. He'll just rarely tell you that. True. Matt's found a great wife in Sarah that I've got to know really well since they've been together, and she's now a good friend to myself and Becky. We know how much she loves and cares for Matt, Jack and Hattie too, and I wish them all the happiness in the world.